Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing another coffee review today. Um, I'll actually be doing a few reviews here on some coffees that are available in Michigan, and here's one of them. So this one is from the Leelanau Coffee Roasting Company. It's Leelanau Cherry. So let me explain uh, what the name implies. So if you've ever met somebody from Michigan, they'll use their hands to say where they're from, because if you look at your hands, it looks like a map of the state of Michigan, the lower peninsula, the upper peninsula. Within these peninsulas, there's other peninsulas. There's even one over here where my pinky is. So Leelanau is one of the smaller peninsulas within the state. As far as the cherry goes, Michigan is known for its cherry crop. We do have agriculture in this state. We grow a lot of fruits, and uh, cherries is, is a principal fruit. Uh, every year in Traverse City, Michigan, up in northern Michigan, uh, we have the Cherry Festival. It's a very big event. I've even been told that cherry-flavored Pop-Tarts, or actually all the fruits, in, in Kellogg's Pop-Tarts, Kellogg's is right here in Battle Creek, Michigan, uh, the, the, uh, the fruit uh, that goes in a Pop-Tart comes from Michigan fruit farms. So I've been told that. I can't verify that it's true, but anyhow, that'll give you a little idea of um, where the Leelanau cherry comes from. So uh, I typically don't like flavored coffees. I'm just into uh, a nice medium roast coffee uh, to help me wake up and to uh, just enjoy but from time to time, I do treat myself to a flavored coffee. Uh, the, the cherry coffee I've had before, it's not bad. I really like it. But I'm going to go ahead and do a review and uh, just uh, tell, you, tell you what I think of it. So let's go ahead and uh, get them ground up and go from so there. So the coffee comes with, sealed here, and it comes with a little metal clip. So we'll go ahead and we'll break the seal. And... I'll try to open it up without spilling coffee everywhere. That would not be good on camera. Gently. Tell you what, I'm going to get scissors. I'll be right back. Okay, instead of making a big mess on camera, I'll just go ahead and... Uh, this end open. Now you can, right away, you can smell the cherry. And it smells a little bit sweet. Cut that off there. You can see the, uh, the beans down in there. Yeah, and uh, that aroma just comes out. That's uh, probably the best part of this is, is the smell. So I'm going to go ahead and grind some up and we'll get going from there. Okay, got some coffee beans in there. Put this in Mr. Coffee. Go ahead and put a few more beans in. Here comes the dog. He thinks I've got food. Just coffee. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use distilled water, and I'm going to go ahead and set Mr. Coffee to the stronger setting. Uh, I like my coffee strong. And I'll come back, and we'll have the first cup. Okay, the coffee's all brewed, so let's go ahead and pour a cup and try not to get anything all over any of these decals. See, it's, uh, it's a little light there. So it's a little bit hot. May need to let it cool off. I'll try it without cream at first. You can smell you can smell the cherry, obviously, not through the camera, but you can smell the cherry. It's not as strong as when you open up the bag. It's pretty good. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit and uh, have my first cup black and then the second one I'll have with cream. So somehow I lost the footage of uh, the second cup with cream in it, but a week prior I had shot this video uh, and I wasn't happy with the footage, so I scrapped it. 
what I'm going to do is just use footage from the, the first take where I think I'm on my fourth cup and I've got cream in it and just use that to close out the video. So here you go. So I'm on my fourth cup of the Leland All Cherry coffee and uh, the first two cups I had black and the third cup I added cream and this one I just added more coffee. Uh, so it, it still has some cream in it, but it's got significantly less. Sometimes I have a tendency to put a lot of cream in my coffee. Uh, with each cup, I can taste the cherry a little bit more and more. So um, that may be uh, the result if anybody uh, tries this coffee out. I'll be sending this out to a good friend of mine who does coffee reviews, and he does a much better job than me. And I would trust his opinion more so than mine. So... Individual results may vary, and I think that would be a pretty good disclaimer for me to use in any, uh, any food or drink review video I do. Thanks for watching.